Hey everyone, Jack here, Talk Nero City. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing very well. A match day experience today, and it's Leicester up at Carrow Road. Norwich City haven't started the Premier League in the best fashion. Two straight defeats. We're yet to score a goal. Just one shot on target in them two games. But today presents an opportunity where hopefully we might be able to get something from it. Leicester are a brilliant side. They're Champions League chasing. But with the introduction of Chris Dos Jolius and Josh Sargent the other day, hopefully they're fit, hopefully they get into the team, hopefully they make a difference. I'm about to head to Carrow Road, meet Chris at the pub, have a lovely day, whatever happens, and hopefully we're all good. First though, let me show you my fantasy football team, because I need help. Okay, so this is my team. If you're in the uh, TNC charity uh, league, you've probably seen it. What do I do differently here? I had a good first week. I struggled second week. Um, you may see the only Norwich player I've got is Christos Jollis. Cheap, and I think he will have an impact this season. Any changes you'd make to that? I think it's okay, but I struggled last week. I'm not so sure about this chap because he's going to concede six today. Um, and I think I can do a bit of work here. Let me know. This is a dog that expects nothing but a win today. Hey? Tired. Norwich gonna win. That's a yes. Just got to Norwich to see that Arsenal are 2 0 down within 16 minutes. If they lose today, that's three defeats in three games. And TalkSport have the cheek of saying we don't have any integrity. Arsenal, they're doing worse than us. I must say, this bit of Norwich here, the cathedral just over there, beautiful river. I'm gonna go down to the Red Lion for a few drinks. It's just lovely, isn't it? Just lovely. Christoph. Hello, mate. You okay? Well, time for a win. Oh, the sun's out, bloody hell. Come on, boys. Chris. Hello. Score prediction. Norris City 3, Leicester City 2. Sad to see Sergeant and Zolis injured. Yes, mate, gutted. Zolis would have done the bit today, but... Look, I still think this team have got what it takes to be Leicester right now. Here we go. Norwich Leicester. Norwich needs something. Yellows! Yellows! Go on, Fanny! Oh, he's giving it! Oh, yes! Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow! A penalty on the old VAR! I don't think it was a pen. Just doing this. Was it a pen? Seriously, fuck VAR, but get in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a howl of VAR, isn't it? Is it a pen? Didn't look yet. But we've got it. And Norwich could be scoring their first Premier League goal of the season. Come on. Come on, Timu. Come, Come, Come on, Timu. Come on, Timu. Come on, Timu. Give me something to cheer about. Come on, Goat. 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 Come on, 
on the go. Come on, team. Come on the go. I believe. Come on the goat! Come on the goat! Come on the goat! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Get in there! Come on! Come on! We're off the mark! We've dug in! We've dug deep! Imagine wanting to start, Sergeant! Come on, Timu! 1-1 one, one at the break. Pukki with his first Premier League goal of the season. Chris, it was a ropey start, but yeah. soon got back into it. Yeah, it was a ropey start, Jack. And uh, a big call from Danny Farker, of course, to, to drop Dimmy for Brandon Williams. And he just got himself in trouble. He didn't get out of that tight spot that we thought he would be able to get out of. Under pressure, fair play to Leicester. They made it, it was, it was a gift. It was gift wrapped. Good finish. It was a good finish, but it was gift wrapped. It was woeful defending from Norris City. They'll know that. And that VAR decision has got us out of trouble big time because, Jack, we've really struggled to carry the ball forward yes. to the field. We've only just started doing it in the back end of that second half. I'm expecting more from this Norris City side going back onto the pitch again. But overall, Jack, I must admit, I'm worried about the way that we started today's game. It's the it's the midfield that looks yes. completely disconnected. Yes, because the key is Jack, and you mentioned this to me a number of times that first half. Gibo's got the ball. He's lifted yeah. up. He's got no bloody options. Yeah. He's got no options. No one's coming towards him. No one's making the runs. Why is that? I don't know. Give us the answer in the comment section. But for me, I'm not sure. Gibson. But at least we're back in it. That's that's of progress. Course, mate, of course, and because the game could have quite easily gone. I'm so optimistic for the second half. I really am. I, I, look, Leicester, great football team, full of talented players. But this is a game that we can win today. Yeah. I believe that the boys can beat these today if they rise up, get street wise, do the simple stuff, carry the ball forwards, bang a Farker, make a couple of early subs. We've got Josh and Sargent on the bench. I think we'll do the job. Mate. Seventy minutes on the clock. You know, Joe on for Leicester. The sun is out. Evenly poised. Good opportunity for Norwich City. Free kick. Dangerous area. Come on, Milo. Go on, Milo. Oh, rubbish. That one hurts. Norwich should be ahead and he's over behind. Been chances for us this afternoon, there really has been.
goodness me. Come on, boys. Oh, one more. Oh, boys. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Max, go on, Maxie! Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 Two chances, Sergeant Eder should be good. Oh, man. Well, just back to the car, and you have to say Norwich were unlucky there. The first goal for Leicester was incredibly soft. Thought we dug in deep. Um, slightly fortunate penalty. I haven't seen it back. VAR decision. Puki tucks it away. Beautiful. Exactly what Timmy Puki needs. The second half, the first 15 minutes of that second half, Norwich City had chances. We played well. Leicester looked like they were happy to sit off the ball um, and it really did feel like it was there for for the taking for Norwich City and unfortunately um, they couldn't get the goal um, it's a sloppy goal to give away once again giving possession away quality finish from all Brighton and then the final 15 minutes McLean gets the header beautiful goal um, really unlucky offside call I mean I haven't seen it back but Cantwell doesn't look to be um, not even blocking the vision at all um, but it gets given as an offside Sergeant and Ida have good opportunities and we lose it feels like we've <laughs> it feels like we said this so many times in the Premier League last time but we need to find a way of playing well and actually winning football matches like we weren't at our at the races a hundred percent today but it was a solid kind of seven out of ten but clearly them seven out of ten performances um don't always get the job done and today it didn't so there we go we move on to arsenal the first six pointer of the season at least we've scored they haven't thanks for watching everyone um yeah really disappointed i'll be back for a full match reflection video tomorrow uh, stay safe if we can hit 500 likes that would be excellent thanks for watching everyone bye bye